Hello and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a case study. Can an insurance payout be used to reduce arrear levies? The situation is modified from the discussion forum. An owner in a body corporate is more than six months in arrears with his levies. In the meantime, that owner has had a plumbing problem in his section and he has addressed this. He's now sent the body corporate the invoice to submit to the body corporate's insurers for a refund. If the insurers pay out on the claim, can the body corporate deduct or set off the arrear levies before paying the owner out the balance? As the body corporate is the insured, it makes the claim on behalf of the owner and any settlement will be paid into the body corporate's bank account. The body corporate would usually reimburse the owner the money he has spent on the plumbing problem straight away. But in this case, he actually owes the body corporate money for levies. So can the body corporate set off the arrears? What is set off? Villiers Principles of South African Law 9th Edition defines set-off as the extinction of debts owed reciprocally to each other by two persons. If the debts are equal, both are discharged. If unequal, the smaller is discharged, the larger remaining in force for the balance or excess only. Four conditions must be satisfied before set-off can operate. The debts must be one of the same nature, for example money, two liquidated, its exact monetary value is certain, three fully due, both debts must be legally payable, Four, payable by and to the same persons in the same capacities. Two people reciprocally owe each other something. It seems that in these circumstances, the conditions for set-off are satisfied and the trustees or managing agents would be able to keep the insurance settlement up to the amount of levies owes to set off arrears owed by the owner. Some things to consider. If set-off is applied and the insurance payout is more than the arrears owed, the body corporate must pay the owner the balance. It would be better if you could get the owner to consent to the set-off, and this is how some managing agents have used this principle of set-off in practice. If the arrears were in dispute by the owner, then set-off may not be possible because the condition of fully due may not be satisfied. The circumstances of each case should be considered and whether the insurance payout is a reimbursement or whether a contractor still needs to be paid will have a bearing on whether set-off is sensible or not despite all conditions being satisfied. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions, please post them on the discussion forum and we'll deal with them there.